Hey, I just wanted to come on here and make this video real quick. Um, uh, yesterday, as of July 5th, I had a shift change dream. Um, basically, um, I had more than uh, one. Uh, the rest of them I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm not allowed to talk about a lot of stuff that I um, on my videos. It's between me and God. It's, it's forbidden, actually. Um, but... Um, had a sh shift change during yesterday. I went to sleep at 3, 4 p.m. And then when I, yeah, around, yeah, around that time, uh, 3, 4 p.m., went to sleep. And then when I woke up, uh, my friend that came into town yesterday, I was in his car. He 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 went to, um, he stays in North Carolina. Um, he went back to North Carolina. But um, when I woke up in my in my dream, I was in his car. He was driving, he was speeding, and I was asking him, and I just woke up from being asleep. And I asked him, what month is it? And he told me that, uh, what day and what month is it? And he told me that it was basically August 7th. Um, and he was saying that um, it's August 7th. And he just kept driving and speeding. And then I told him that, you know, slow down, you're driving too fast. And um, I had my wallet. Um, and was trying to hold my wallet because he was driving too fast. And my current wallet, it's basically a Naruto wallet. It's uh, with uh, uh, red clouds and stuff. It's uh, the Akatsuki. And so uh, basically, um, I'm saying, you're going too fast. Slow down, slow down. And then trying to hold onto my wallet so it won't go in the air. And then basically, um, we almost get in an accident with the with the cement truck. You know, the, the, the people that put the cement on the ground. Um, but that never happened. And then pretty much I woke up and my dream ended. Um, I want to sit here and say that um, ever since yesterday, my dreams are actually starting to become a little bit surreal and too. Ever since yesterday, I said this like last year, two years ago, that my dreams are starting to become a little bit very surreal and a little bit too realistic to the point where when I go to sleep and have a dream, it's almost as if it's real and I'm not, I'm not going to wake up. Um, and that's in a good sense, not in a bad sense, but, um, I want to sit here and say that God, basically whatever certain is doing, God is going to use that in whatever way. And he's going to pull something major. And which is why I posted um, a video to make sure I'm not crazy, um, about basically, um, the, there only being 15 States. I get, uh, I'm assuming that's a metaphor. I don't know. Um, but regardless, whether, regardless of whether it is or isn't, the point is, is that what's about to happen is extremely major. And when people sit here and think that, um, things, um, you know, the elite or whatever the case it is, um, uh, people think that things are going to go, um, a certain type of way. Uh, people are wrong. People are putting God in a box. Um, this stuff that's, that's going to get unleashed on the earth and all hell on earth breaking loose with like giants in the, from the Euphrates river, all that type of stuff. That stuff is major. That's, that, that's real. This stuff is major. So, um, I want to sit here and say that things are not about to sit here and go the way that people think it is. Like literally you could go to sleep one day and you will wake up and you'll be rich, famous, and, uh, all types of stuff. And this also gets into a lot of metaphysic, metaphysical stuff where basically God is going to take you from one place to the other and he'll put you in a different dimension where you won't even be worrying about what's going on in this dimension, this old earth. But that gets into like a lot of science and stuff. Um, but once again, um, when I sit here and I talk about this stuff, I'm not allowed to, uh, uh, not yet. I'm not allowed to release a certain amount of information. A lot of stuff that people are getting and this is about a certain person that I used to follow, uh, had a dream about this person. I can mention her name, but, um, had a dream about her and she was, um, she was, she was telling me and she was uh, saying, you know, how much do you know, um, in terms of like dimensions and all this other stuff, because there's a lot of stuff that I don't mention on my videos. So, um, there's that. And a lot of stuff that people, um, that I've been talking about and a lot of stuff that I, are, I already do know. Um, God is already telling people or God is just uh, waiting for or telling certain people to release certain information on um, dimensions and all this other stuff. So um, there's that. And please quit listening to the fear mongering. 
to, to these retards that sit here and say that, oh my gosh, CERN is doing this or whatever the case is, you know, Bill Gates and mosquitoes or they're, they're going to start biting, eating people, whatever the case is. Congrats. We who believe in God, who have the seal of God, we, we, we will be untouched. I have videos on this stuff. Um, we will be untouched. Quit putting fear over God because when you put fear over God, it's acronym for fog. You get lost in the fog, you go into the fog and you get eaten by monsters. Don't be that person. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Like, for example, if next month a zombie apocalypse happens or whatever the case it is. Guess what? If that was to happen, God and everybody's certain. I've talked about this before in my videos. God would take me since my mom is juiced up. If she starts turning or whatever the case it is, God would take me when my mom is turning and he would teleport me into the woods. I, I, I can sit here and say this stuff because it actually happened. I've experienced teleportation like 10 or five times already. And God has taken me to certain places and shown me that how this stuff is going to work. This stuff isn't a joke anymore. This stuff, you know, the stuff that's in the Bible, is not just something of fiction or however people want to talk about it. Um, it's real. So, um, and a lot of other stuff that I've been talking about, the how I said a dimension resets itself when you meet yourself. Um, uh, that happened in the Umbrella Academy 3. So, and a lot of people are starting to get these weird dreams and God is telling them that cartoon dimensions exist and don't even know these people. So, there you go. Um, so that, and, um, hold on. That, and what else was there? Um, that's really pretty much it. I just want to sit here and come on and say all this. Um, don't put fear over God. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Um, it, should you be concerned about some of the stuff that's going on? Yes. But also at the same time, no, because God has his people is looking out for his people. Um, so there's that. And yeah, that's really pretty much it in terms of superpowers and all this other stuff. Uh, this stuff is not going to go the way that go the way people, um, think it's going to go and turn i think i said like last year or two years ago how basically they want to put uh, uh superpowered children in concentration camps and there's actually a movie it's called uh, darkest minds it's based off of a book but if you actually look that up that trailer uh the movie um it's about kids being in concentration camps and they have superpowers and the government wants to use them a certain type of way um there's that and then also um in terms of what I'm talking about, like uh, dimensions and shift change and superpowers, uh, look up uh, Marvel versus Capcom 3 and watch all the trailers that um, come from Marvel Entertainment. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, people from diff two, uh, two different worlds meeting each other, fighting each other, helping each other out, that type of stuff. This stuff is real. Um, so that and I think that's really pretty much it. Um uh, yeah, I think that's really pretty much it. Just wanted to come on here and say this dream real quick. And yeah, so, and once again, um, also want to sit here and say that if what could have happened yesterday would have been real, I would have jumped in time and God would have taken me and teleported me in time a month ahead, uh, in, into like the middle of August, um, with the shift change, because I had that dream with my friend in my car, July, uh, July 5th. And all of a sudden it was August 7th, you know, there you go. I've also had dreams where I wake up in a, in a car that can drive itself, but that's a different story. Uh, well, not a different story. It's the same, same thing. But my point is, is that this stuff will happen unexpectedly when you least expect it. And there, there you go. So, um, that, what else is there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to sit here, um, say that, and um, God is listening to our prayers, God is listening to us, and God is looking out for us. And um, yeah, and other than that, hope you guys have a blessed day, and enjoy.